Hello, I'm Transformers Fan G138, and I'm here with a video review of Transformers the Movie Sam's Club Exclusive 3 Pack RC Battle Damaged. And actually, this almost makes me almost made me want to go and find the actual RC that came out just prior to this, um, the non Battle Damage one. I really do like the battle damage, you know, it's like here, here, it's it's nice battle damage, you know, it looks great, paint there, you know, it really looks legit. It says RC1100 back here, you know, for her name. Um, you know, it's got nice, uh, wheels spin pretty nicely. Uh, rolls really nice, a little bit large for a uh, transformer scale, but not bad. Um, you don't actually have to have the kickstand down to, for her to stand up, although it's a little bit helpful some days. Anyway, that's that. Um, you know, probably fit a G.I. Joe or a Star Wars figure on here if you wanted to. Um, there's a missile that goes in here, which also doubles as an exhaust port, but um, I don't have it. With me, it's in a box somewhere, and I didn't really feel like digging it out. Um, so, yeah, here's another a nice piece of example of battle damage. Um, cracked window, apparently. Autobot logo there. Um, so, she's a really, really sleek bike. I like her. And this is the RC that should have been in the move, in the real, in Revenge of the Fallen, and not that triplet, weird, disgustingly horrifying. RC's sisters things they're terrible anyway um, this is actually a really nice toy I use it in my stop motion as RC obviously before I, the prime stuff came out um, yeah so um, I'll go ahead and transform her and get her in robot mode I'm not going to do that in camera because uh, I, I don't feel like doing it so back in a sec and here she is in robot mode and honestly, this is one of my favorite RCs. Okay, my second favorite RC. I think the first edition pink RC from Transformers Prime outranks this one just a little bit. But um, this one is awesome. Highly recommend getting this mold. Um, she is hot. Not really, but you know what I mean, like design-wise. Anyway, so um, she's got these like heavy-duty like kick but platform heels uh, designed and that's kind of awesome um, you know she's got a lot of range of motion uh, you know knees could be a little bit better but you know that's not bad still have that motion there uh, hips you know they really got that feminine look for this one um, Although, she does suffer a little bit movie-like with the hands, with only the two fingers and a thumb. I tend to just ignore that. Um, not quite a fan, didn't, wasn't originally a fan of the whole metal haircut plate thing. But, it's kind of grown on me. Mm, she she kind of looks, uh, she does suffer a little bit movie-wise there. They had a really nice job, like, overall making her look like a her. Um, really, they did. I have to say Hasbro did a fantastic job on this one. Normally, I don't rank movie toys this highly, and this is one of the ones that I rank highly. Um, if you put a missile in this missile launcher, this actually, these expand outward and uh, look like a crossbow, and then when you fire it, these spring back as the missile launches. It's kind of nifty. Um... But, again, I don't have the missile with me, so I can't quite show that off. Anyway, um, so supposedly, according to the comic books and instructions, these uh, wheels are actually supposed to be like this on her, which is kind of stupid. So they actually look a little bit better folded outward on her shoulders to me. Um, I think that's fine. I guess it's up to the individual person what they like to display her as. High, this is a very highly recommended toy on my part, and I very rarely recommend movie toys. And this is one I recommend. 
Um, so, I mean, she is actually really well designed, really well done. I'm just repeating myself at this point. I can't say enough good things about her. Um, that pretty much concludes my video review on Transformers the Movie, Sam's Club exclusive Battle Damaged RC. Um, if you have any questions about this figure, please post a comment down below and I'll answer them. If you have any requests for video reviews, please uh, post a comment down below or shoot me a message and I will do those for you. Um, I hope you enjoyed, and as usual, thanks for watching.